There is a gene that makes you uh, at greater risk for Alzheimer's. And the estimate is that, you know, 20 to 25 percent of people have this gene. We'll get into all the specifics around this, but let me just ask this. Should we get tested for this gene? The average person, not necessarily any risk factors or any problems right now, should they get tested? So my personal opinion, short answer is no. Uh, the longer answer, uh, it really depends upon the context in which it's occurring. Uh, the gene we're talking about, apolipoprotein E, uh, epsilon 4, which, as you say, is present in about 20 to 25 percent of people living in North America. It varies somewhat worldwide. It's lower in, in certain Asian countries and Mediterranean region as well. Uh, and, and Alzheimer's incidence rates parallel that. Um, it uh, doesn't influence the therapeutic options that we have for patients. And because the form of Alzheimer's that it is most deterministic for is the form that it strikes us when we're older, say 75 to 85, that age range, and of course there's variability, but roughly speaking, it's not the sort of thing wherein if a patient is tested, let's say who's 78 years old, well, they have that E4 gene, should we test their children to find out? The reason you do genetic testing is so that you can do some sort of uh, intervention. Now, if, if you happen to have a gene that's going to give you a disease that disables you when you're 48 years old, you might want to influence what your children do in terms of should they become a neurosurgeon, spending half their life becoming that just to have a couple of years productive, uh, productivity after that? Should they marry, have children, pass this on? Not quite, quite that bad. <laughs> yes, I, get, I get the point. <laughs> but uh, with ApoE4, I mean, what are you going to do? Tell people not to have kids because they might develop Alzheimer's when they're 75 years old. If you do surveys of people, you will find most people like yourself do want to be tested. Uh, they are interested in finding out. If you ask them other hard questions like, if you found out that you were at very high risk for Alzheimer's, would you seriously consider suicide? And so people answering that on an internet survey, 11% of them said, yes, I would. Um, you might go into trying to help solve it. <laughs> Spend the, your well, good years trying to protect yourself. You know, you might actually get more people working on might it. Might it. Might it inspire even more innovation. Quick show of hands, how many people would get tested if you could get tested for this? Not everyone. Interesting. Okay.